Hey guys and welcome to part one of the red barn tutorial. To start off with you're going to need two different color concretes. I got orange and yellow but you can choose anything and then you're going to need sand and gravel as well. And you can see that I've placed a lot of torches here. Off to the side are the corners for the greenhouse and then everywhere else are the corners and stopping points for the rest of the main build and you're just going to alternate between your two colors of concrete. I'm just going to do one concrete for now and just do every other block. The spaces in between will be for the other color and then right here you're going to see that I did a little bit of a zigzag design. This is for the poking out bit of the barn door and then over here you're gonna do the same design but flip and then once I get this done you're gonna see that I made a little bit of a mistake where I did one block poking out but that's not actually supposed to be there so I'm gonna just grab a block to fill that in so that way I don't mess up any further and then I'm just going to go to the corner here and then I'm going to go back with my other color concrete and fill in the spaces in between. Now that we've got that done, this is what it should look like for now. And then we're going to go over to the greenhouse side and extend it by three over here from this orange block. And then from the second orange block, we're going to extend it out to this corner where the torches stop. And once we're done with the orange, Again, we're going to go in with the yellow concrete and it'll look just like that. And from here, you're going to once again alternate in between your two concrete colors until all parts of the outline meet. And not including the greenhouse, your entire perimeter should look like this. And you're just going to fill in everything with the alternating colors, as I said. And the entire perimeter should be about 43 by 65 blocks. And that, again, is not including the greenhouse, which is 8 by 41 down the side. And once you have your outline done, this is what it should look like. And now we're going to go in with our gravel and our sand. So from this little corner over here, we're just going to dig out this area and fill it all in with gravel, just like this. Then from this yellow block here, I'm going to want to do pretty much the exact same thing going all the way to the back with gravel.
And then from here, you're going to want to fill in the rest of this grassy area with sand. And so this is what you should have so far for your landscape and now we're going to get to the fun part you're going to want to dig out a 7 by 10 space here it's really going to be about 7 by 11 right now I'm just going to dig out an outline and then we can fill the rest of it in with gravel. So now we've got the outline here and we're just gonna fill it in with gravel and then we can move on to the next thing. And now we're going to start a little bit of a pathway slash entranceway for the barn. And so you're going to go from the third lot on the inside and just make one single row of gravel. And then you're going to extend it all the way to the other side to connect with that 7 by 11 section over here on the opposite side and then you're just going to kind of go to the corner here and connect it with that little bit of pathway that you made over on the other side and then you can fill all that in with gravel as well. completely forgot about the pathway here. Um, I actually have to destroy this little one block pathway and move it over to the second inside block and then we can fill it in. And this is where I realized that the 10 or 12 by 7 area is actually a 11 by 7 area. Um, at first I thought that there were two pathways that were three wide. In reality this side is the one that had the three wide pathway and the other side is a four wide pathway. So I'm going to have to add a block over on this side and then I'm going to count out the grass blocks to make sure I have the correct measurement of the width for this pathway over here. And then once I have that done, I'm going to extend both the three wide and the four wide pathways all the way to the back. So now once you have that done, 
you're going to want to make sure you leave a space of two grass blocks at the front and back and then everywhere in between you want to do a three wide gravel pathway and then you're going to want to do a five wide grass pathway and then you want to repeat that step with the gravel and the grass in between until you reach the front or the back depending on where you start from and then once you have all those pathways measured out you're going to want to extend each one to the side and when you're done with that you should have something that looks just like this and then for our final part you want to go from the back towards the front by 23 blocks with gravel and you'll see here that I made a little bit of a mistake miscounting again because the 23rd block would actually be two grass blocks after the third gravel pathway here so I'm just placing torches to make sure I get that right this time and actually once you get the 23rd block all connected from one side to the other you're actually just gonna fill in that whole grass area in the back with gravel and once you do that you'll pretty much be done with your landscaping and this is what the finished product of the landscaping part of the project should look like hey guys thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment and be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat and be sure to also share with your friends and encourage them to do the same i'll be uploading part two to this tutorial as soon as possible but until then thanks for watching